storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. We gotta talk about Lizzo. All right, Lizzo did a TED talk, and instead of talking about you know uh, uh, her story, how she went from rags to riches, instead of her talking about how she uh, learned to, I mean, how she was able to fight homelessness, instead of her talking about the origins of black people in music, all the shit that we started, she decided to go to what we've been looking at the whole time. Her ass, all right? So we got to diagnose you with disrespecting the ancestors. You got up there in that TED Talk in front of all those white folks and became mammified when you talked about the history of twerking and your big black ass. And we not mad at you talking about twerking, Lizzo, but we would like for you and your twerk talk to maybe be like your fourth or fifth TED Talk, not, you know, like your first or second. Like, we would, we would rather hear about you talk about the forgotten sister of rock and roll, because you know rock and roll was actually started by a black woman. I would actually rather you do a TED talk on something like that versus you just talk about twerking and how twerking uh, uh, was a part of your lineage and your ancestors did it, and twerking helped you to love yourself and love your body. You know, the lie detector test determined that that is a lie, Lizzo, because people that love their body don't feel the need to constantly tell people that they love their bodies. They just love their bodies. But we, but I'm not. I don't want to be too hard on you, Lizzo. I really don't. But I just hate that of all the things. You could have talked about. Hey, you could have talked about the history of the flu. You could have talked about black people in playing instruments and how instruments that we play over here actually came from shit in Africa. Like you could have talked about African influence in Latin culture in in in, in this se sector of music, in that sector of music. There's so much shit you could have done, and you didn't do none but bend over and shake your big black ass. We love you though, Lizzo, but we don't love you doing that. And so uh, 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 we, we are also diagnosing you with using your ass instead of your brain. So for your script, you want to do another TED Talk where you're going to talk about black influences in music. I want you to talk about the origins of country where it really came from and rock and roll. Ain't none of that shit white genres. All that shit is black genres that was taken over by whites. As a matter of fact, you could have talked about the black man that, that Elvis Presley was modeled after shit that we still see today when we look at artists like Pink, uh, uh, Christina Aguilera, who else, who else, Miley Cyrus. Iris. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Cardi B. Who else? Who else? Who else? You really could have. Oh, well, you ain't gonna say that against Cardi, but you could have went there and talked about that. You know how hip hop is whitewashed, rap is whitewashed, blah, 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 blah. Anything but talking about you twerking. It seems to be all you have to offer and nobody's you. you you're calling for somebody to come and eat that ass and ain't nobody coming for it. And last but not least, um, you know, when you are doing your mating call and bending over all the time, you know, you're signaling to me that you're horny. But I do believe that you're going for men that ain't really checking for you like that. And so I want you to start dating some heavy brothers. I want you to go on a few dates with them. I want y'all to do it together. If you got to get on the floor and do it so y'all don't break the bed, that's totally fine. Suck each other's titties and rolls and love each other together and live together in sweaty bliss. But I just don't want you out here, you know, just being reduced to your ass of all the things you could have talked about, Lizzo. Your ass? Really? Targeting? Really? I'm calling that an epic fail, but we're going to move right along from that. Get, get out of my office, Lizzo. I like you. I like you. I really do. And I will say this. I don't care what nobody say. Your face is top tier. Your, your face, Lizzo, is top tier. I you, you, you shouldn't feel unattractive. You're definitely one of the prettiest girls in this industry. But all you can do is just bend over. Sick of that shit. Uh, it's a storm show. Hey, it's a storm show.